everyone, and welcome back to our channel, Pretty Nerdy Adventures. My name is Taylor, and as always, on my left is my pretty nerdy partner, Michael. Now, before we jump right into it, if you saw our last video, then you know Michael and I ended up taking a slightly longer break than previously anticipated. Unfortunately, we just got a little caught up with finals and end of the semester projects, but we both had successful semesters, and on top of it, Your girl did a thing. And I got a haircut. Michael got a haircut. And although we've been busy, we certainly didn't forget about you. We still managed to shoot a bunch of videos that we're excited to edit and release throughout the new year, so make sure you subscribe to our channel because we have a bunch of fun things planned. Today, however, the reason we're all here for that time of year, when we rank every peppermint flavored item being offered at Disney and California Adventure for winter 2022. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so in our quest to try every peppermint flavored item at Disneyland and California Adventure, I attempted to mobile order as many possible things as I could, but it looks like some items aren't available just yet, so hopefully they'll be available the next day that we come back. And it looks like a lot of the items that are here in Disneyland, which is currently the only park that's open as there's a private event happening in DCA right now, most of the items here are not like mobile order items. So we do kind of have to wait in line and stop along the way to get them. We are on our way to pick up one of our two mobile orders at the French Market restaurant where they have the peppermint hot chocolate for us to try, as well as our dinner before we eat all these sweets. But on the way, I wanted to stop over at the Penny Arcade. This is the home of the peppermint dipped Mickey, which is gonna be like a marshmallow shaped Mickey dipped in chocolate with a peppermint on it. They also did have a surprise peppermint brownie. So in case I didn't mention it, in total there are were 16 peppermint items on the food guide. We just found a peppermint brownie over at the Penny Arcade along with the Mickey that we were getting, so that makes it 17. But we got them in our bag. We're gonna go pick up our mobile order. We're gonna eat our dinner. We'll try the hot chocolate. We'll give these items a try, and then we'll go find some other foods. So we're actually gonna try the peppermint hot chocolate first. I don't want it to get cold. I want to try it while it's still hot. It also looks really good. Oh. Um, for those of you who are not aware of how we do things here, we'll be rating everything on a scale of 1 to 10 across three key factors, texture, taste, and appearance. Okay. Have you ever had an Andes after dinner mint? Yeah, the ones they leave on pillows. In the green little squares? Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Taste, I will give it, I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it's a little heavy on the peppermint, wish there was more chocolate there. Texture, it's gonna get a nine. It was nice and hot and creamy. I kind of like the little candy bits at the top. So I'm gonna give it a nine on that. And appearance, I'll give it, I'll give it a nine. It was really cute. Obviously like the whipped cream melted a little bit by the time we got it and like the candy cane kind of like clumped together. I had to break it up with my spoon. But it was really cute looking. It made me happy to see when I pulled the top off. Oh yeah, yeah. That's real good. That's a, that's okay. a real. I was good. gonna say I, thought, I was gonna say it doesn't look like you like it from that face. No. This face says it tastes just right. Honestly, compared to most hot peppermint drinks, like taste-wise, gets a ten out of ten. Texture, texture is good. I'll give that one an eight. Um, and then appearance, I'm gonna give it a nine because it is adorable and. The fact that they put in this effort, even though it's gonna melt immediately, is worth it for me. Ah! Oh, goodness. All right, cheers. cheers. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not crazy about marshmallow when it's like this. It's just really, really hard. But the shell tastes delicious. Um, as a person who celebrates Hanukkah, these chocolate marshmallow things tend to remind me of the chocolate covered marshmallows that we would eat on Passover. But the peppermint is really nice and it's not overwhelmingly peppermint like I feel the hot chocolate was because the sweetness from the marshmallow really cuts the strength of the peppermint. I really enjoyed that. 
I, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, to be honest. I'm gonna give that an eight for taste, texture. I'm also gonna give it an eight. And then appearance, it's Mickey. It's got the little peppermint all over it. It's cute. I'm gonna give it eights across the board. Taste, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm not crazy about marshmallows, but it still tastes good. So it gets props for that. And then texture, I love the hard shell. It makes me feel like I'm eating those ice cream bars that would have the, the like the little dip stuff. Uh, Magic shell. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. And and yeah, I'm gonna be nicer. Appearance, it gets a nine because it's Mickey. And what did we say last time? Everything shaped with Mickey gets bonus points because how can you not love it? I'm a harsher critic. What can I say? We have this surprise dark horse peppermint brownie. All right. I'm gonna be a little bit nicer than Taylor for sure. But I loved it. Uh, Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it a nine. The texture, it's got really good texture because it's really soft. Um, so I'm gonna give that one a nine as well. In appearance, it looks so cute. I'm gonna give that a nine too. So nine's across the board for that one. Opposite of the hot chocolate. This one, very peppermint up forward, very fudgy chocolatey after on the back end. Uh, Taste-wise, I'm also gonna give it... I'm gonna give it an eight. I don't know that I would eat it again, just because like, it's a lot for me personally, but it, it, it does taste very good. Texture, very dense, fudgy. I do like the little crump, like crunchy stuff on top. I'm gonna give it a nine. I like that it's a little more fudgy. It has that. I'm gonna give it a nine, and then for appearance, I'll give it an eight. It was cute. What'd you run into line for? This works out well. Okay, so um, we were over at the French Market restaurant and we were gonna go to the Straight Shore Cafe to pick up our next mobile order, which is gonna be a peppermint funnel cake. Um, we were gonna go get popcorn after this because if there's anything we've learned from our let's eat every sweet in Disneyland videos, um, we're gonna need something salty after, like popcorn. And it just so happened that I really wanted that music box, like spinning popcorn bucket that came out. So we were leaving, and I looked over at the popcorn stand next to the market, and they were selling the music box one. And if you know about the, the, the popcorn buckets here, they sell like different ones at the different popcorn stands. They don't all sell every one of them. And the line is kind of short. What the hell? <laughs> Why is that so freaking cute? <laughs> uh, so what was that you said about anything that looks like a Mickey bee? Uh, bonus points. It's so cute. This is our peppermint mocha funnel cake with cold brew sauce topped with chocolate sauce, peppermint dust, and whipped topping. Thanos snapped all the peppermints. That's, how what, that's fast, what happened. How fast can I ruin this very cute jacket that I got? Minutes. Because there's so much sauce on it and the whipped cream, it's a little more mushy than I like my funnel cake to be. I like when it has that like shell on the outside and then it's fluffy on the inside. So it's probably gonna lose points on texture. Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it a seven. It's, it's all right, it's not bad. Texture is gonna get a five. And then appearance, it's it's cute. It's definitely cute. It has a Mickey on it. It's gonna get a nine. The funnel cake always looks good here. You said this is peppermint? Right, it's subtle. Uh, yeah, it's subtle, but it's definitely because it's overpowered by coffee. I'm not a big fan. Um, wish it was more mocha than cold brew. So taste-wise, I'm gonna knock it down a little bit. It's gonna be a six. Texture, you made me think it was gonna be terrible, but uh, texture was okay. Like I said, I'll give it like a seven. Bad. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. In appearance, looks amazing. I'm gonna give it a nine as well because what did we say? Bonus points for Mickey. Mickey. Well, he's he's deceased now, but um, destroyed Mickey. He was there when we got it. We promise. I swear, there's proof.
Oh yeah, 10 out of 10 on appearance, straight off the boat. Yeah. Look at this thing. All right, let's go find a place to sit, which is not gonna be easy because we were dumb and decided to mobile order something on Main Street 10 minutes before the fireworks are about to start. So we're gonna try to find a seat, but I don't know how easy that'll be. Here we have the peppermint holiday sundae. Two scoops of peppermint ice cream, whipped cream, crushed peppermint, and chocolate cream cookies. Oh, it's so soft. I'm gonna keep it simple. It's perfect. Tens across the board. Wow. You really can't get better than this. I haven't even tried the little waffle bowl part that looks freaking adorable. Oh. Everything about this is perfect. Yeah. 10 out of 10. I'm not as hopeful as you. I don't like like mint chip ice cream or things like that, so I'm a little anxious to be honest. You're gonna have a rough time. I'm opposite. Opposite Michael. No. It got to 10 for appearance. The texture is really nice. I'll give that a 9. I really don't like this, but that's just because I'm. I don't like mint chip ice cream, but I feel like if you like mint ice cream, you'll probably enjoy this. But me personally, does not, and I'm gonna give it a 4. Okay, so we have our candy cane churro and peppermint bark dipping sauce from the churro cart next to Sleeping Beauty's Castle. I don't know, the churro doesn't really smell very pepperminty. So we'll see. This is nice and warm though, I'm excited to try this. I don't really taste any candy cane in this churro. It just kind of looked like a candy cane. So I'll give it points for that. Oh, is she thick. Also, shout out to the number one dining table in all of Disneyland. I like that dip. Taste-wise, I will give the churro... I want to give it like a high score because I really like how it tastes because it kind of just tastes like a churro to me. But as far as peppermint goes, it's, it's low on the peppermint scale. I'm going to give it a four. Texture, great. It's getting a nine. It's fluffy on the inside. It's crispy on the outside. There's just the right amount of sugar. Nine. Um, and then appearance. It looks like a churro. It's fun. It's cute. Seven. For the dipping sauce, appearance. They did zhuzh it a little. They like put some chocolate gar garnish and then some other stuff on top of it. It was really nice and warm when I got it too, so it gets points for that. Um, taste is gonna be, an, again, it doesn't have peppermint <laughs> or anything, but it's really good. It tastes really good, but it doesn't taste like peppermint, so I will give it a five. Texture, it's thick, it's goopy, but in the best way, I'm gonna give it an eight. And appearance, I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven. As far as dips goes, that's pretty high for me. <laughs> it's just a regular churro, but it looks like a candy cane. Right. Okay, well, we use the rest of the sauce. Tasty. Did you dip it all the way in when you had it? Why, are you getting peppermint? Oh, 100%. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You're not getting it? No. So after that Sunday, Taylor said, I'm not doing peppermint anymore. And her taste buds said, okay. <laughs> That's what that tells me. Because <laughs> um, it definitely tastes like peppermint. No, but it, it doesn't. Oh yeah, no. It's There's definitely a hint of peppermint that she just can't figure out. Um, the churro, I'm gonna rate this on the fact that it's supposed to look like a candy cane, not taste like one. So, taste-wise, I'm gonna give it an eight. Very good. It's also freshly made. You still feel it's warm. Texture, 9 out of 10. Perfect churro. And appearance. Uh, again, I wish this were during the day, but I'm still going to give it a 9. The dip. I'm going to give it a 9 on taste. Uh, appearance, it's, it's going to get an 8. And texture, I'll give it a 9. It's pretty good. Look at that. Like a, it's literally like a black churro. It looks like a pole. 
Okay, so we have a mint chip churro and a mint chocolate dipping sauce. You can't really see, there is actually some green sugar on here as well. Like crystal-y sugar, maybe you can see. A little bit. This one definitely smells like mint. We're losing some. Okay. Mmm. It has like an Oreo thing, that's what's making it black. So that's the chocolatey part, is like crushed Oreo. The mint's not super strong, but I definitely know that it's there. It's more of like an essence of mint. Does that make sense? Nope. Ah, it's so liquidy. <laughs> it's so goopy. If you thought the ice cream was bad, just wait until she tries this Ooh. dipping sauce. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Nope, I think we're gonna have a low score for you on this one. It's less bad with the churro, but still not something I would actively choose to eat. Churro, flavor-wise, we'll give it a seven. Texture, nine, it has great churro texture. See, that's the trick. After they let out of a big like parade or fireworks or something, they know people are gonna be on Main Street, so they must be pumping out the fresh churro since no one's buying them at that moment anyway. Um, so texture is gonna be a nine. And then appearance, I'm gonna give it an eight. It's a little scary, but like, I appreciate what they're doing. <laughs> Also, side note, they got new ears. Usually the sugary churros I don't like. Like the sweet, like the flavored ones. I don't really think it's mostly sugar though. I feel like it's a lot of cookie crumb. It's <sighs> a tough one. You wanna talk about peppermint tasting like toothpaste? This is toothpaste. Melted, milky toothpaste. Then the churro, once you get past the layers upon layers of dust, um, feels like you're eating a churro that's from your grandmother's attic. Not great. The I just think it's taste. the dust that makes it seem atticky and dry. The rest of the churro was fine. The churro is great. This dust stuff, nah. Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it a four. And I'm usually much nicer than Taylor. So that's saying a lot. Did I rate the dip? I don't think I rated the dip. I don't know if you did. We know you didn't like it. I didn't like it. Like, two is across the board. Honestly? Thank you. Yes, except for appearance, I'll give it a six. It does look like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, which we know Taylor loves. Texture, uh, dust. Is that a number? I'm gonna give it like a five. And then, and then appearance, I do like the way it looks. I'll give it an eight. But that's that's the only reason it's getting a high score, is because of the uh, um, As far as the dip goes, taste, I'm gonna give it like a two. Appearance, I'm gonna give it a six. And then texture, I'm gonna give it like a six on that. Yeah, not great. Hello, we are here at Disney California Adventure. It is the earliest it has ever been that we have gotten here, because we like to sleep. Um, but we are here because it is candy cane dash day, guys. For those that don't know, uh, around Christmas time, Disneyland will make handful candy canes by real candy makers. Um, they are very limited in supply, and in order to get one, you have to get in this very, very, very long line to get a wait time to return to purchase your coveted candy cane. They are, I believe, 18 inches long. And we're, it, it costs $20. So we are here to get one. We've never gotten one at Disney. Um, it is offered in either Disney or Disney California Adventure depending on the day of the week. So you would have to check the calendar to see if they're doing like an on off switching system. And I don't know exactly why, but if I had to guess, maybe there's only like a select handful of the candy cane makers that they have available. So they have to like send them from park to park. I don't know, but I'm really excited. I love candy canes. I hope it's delicious. And then we are here to wrap up our everything peppermint flavored 
offered at Disney and California Adventure for winter of 2022 series. I'm a little concerned about today. One, because we will be given our mobile wait time for the candy cane, and two, a lot of the peppermint items that we have to try today are at the Lamplight Lounge, which as you know is a sit-down restaurant. So we got a reservation. It's a little later in the day than we were hoping to get, so we are gonna go to the walk-up line and try to change that at 11 and hopefully get in there sooner than later. But if not, we're gonna try to make it work. My biggest fear is that the candy cane time and the Lamplight Lounge reservation will be at the same time, and I won't know what to do about that. It's rope drop time, guys. Please walk to your next destination. Don't run to Radiator Springs Racer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's maybe where we're going. Um, I don't think we're rushing over there anytime soon. I think the line is already going to be three hours long by the time we get there. But we'll walk over there, and worst case, we'll go ride Guardians of the Galaxy. So we officially are on the mobile wait queue for our candy canes. Both Michael and myself are going to get one. The deal with the candy canes is it's four per group, one per person. Um, each person has to have a ticket, so it can't be a child uh, three or under who is there without a ticket. And every single person on the wait list has to show up to retrieve their candy cane. You cannot go and retrieve it for your friend or your family member they have to be there with you. It's gonna be a process, but hopefully it'll be done before we have to go to the Lamplight Lounge. Yes. <laughs> you guys. This is the rope drop. Springs Racers, please remain to the right side of the white line for Radiator Springs Racers. We're not even at the entrance to flow, guys. We're like by the bathrooms. This is the standby line for Radiator Springs Racers right now. This isn't even that bad during the day. Why would people do this? If you're not like the first one to rope drop, this is absurd. Okay, can chow on three. One, two, three, let's yeah. chow! So, I've been on my phone what, doing what uh, Mammoth Club likes to call fiddle faddling, which is basically just like continuously clicking through the different reservation times on the Lamplight Lounge on the app to try to see if anything opens up. And we got super lucky. We were about to walk over to the Lamplight Lounge to join the walk-up list to try to get an earlier time. And as we were doing that, a reservation for 11.45 opened up and we were able to snag it. And I'm super excited because that take something off my list, a little less stress in my life, and we just walked past Trolley Treats and noticed that a woman walking to the back of the walk-up line to purchase her candy cane was shortly in front of us. So I'm hoping we get a text message soon. The sooner we get the text message, the sooner I can feel better and not stress out about doing anything else in the park, because I know as soon as we get in a line for something, we're gonna get a text message telling us that we have to go back to the candy cane place and my worst case scenario is we go to the Lamplight Lounge for our reservation and then get text message. In case you're wondering, out of the amount of times we've gone to the park, yes, it still stresses us out. What did he say? What did he tell you? As soon as we get in the line for something, I feel like we're gonna get that text message and we have to go back and what happened? We got in line for the best ride in the park. That's right, soaring around the world. And we just got the text message. anything else trying to be a candy cane. It looks so good. Heaven's singing from the rafters. If any, if you want peppermint flavored anything, this is what the peppermint should be tasting like. It is so good. It is 
deliciously peppermint. It has the right amount of sweetness. It's not just like a drugstore peppermint, like candy cane that's kind of very overpowering on the peppermint flavor. Oh God, it's so good. 10, tens across the board. I don't even care that I had to like get here super early, wait in the line for it, it was worth it. Yeah, that's good. It's so good. That is perfect. <laughs> Like, this may be the best candy cane I've ever had. It definitely is the best no, candy cane I've not ever maybe. had. Yeah, definitely. It's 1,000% uh, the best candy cane I've yeah, ever had. Yeah, no. This, I, I, are you kidding? T 10, 10, and 10. Because this is absolutely perfect. So you just have to get her early, and then it's a little stressful being like, oh, I don't want to get in a line for anything or do anything serious because I think I'm going to have to go run and get it. But yo, it is so good. <laughs> Taste, texture, appearance. 10 out of 10, all across the boards. Yeah, and it's so crazy to look at this thing because you can see like where it binds together and everything. Like the different pieces of like candy the that they pieces, stuck together yeah. to then pull it. Like where the peppermint is like supposed to be because it's obviously gonna wrap around. It looks like the grip of like a baseball bat or something. I love it. It's so good. Like if you look at it up close, it's crazy. Mind blowing. I'm so love excited. It. Candy cane dash success. Here is our peppermint churro. Okay, I'm gonna break this clump of peppermint up really fast because it's like a lot. Um, but it is a regular churro with cinnamon sugar and then it has chocolate and vanilla sauce and peppermint candy cane pieces. It definitely has that Andy's Mountain thing going on. Like I think it was the hot chocolate that we tried maybe. It's not nearly as strong. You don't really taste the cinnamon. You definitely get some of the peppermint, but it's not overwhelmingly peppermint. Taste-wise, I don't know. I'm doing between a six and a seven. If I feel like nothing nice, I'll give it a seven. Texture, a lot of sauce. It did get very melty, so it's a little messy. Um, but it's still good. So I'm gonna give it also a seven. And then appearance, I'll give it an eight. I feel like this is doing a lot. There's a lot of chocolate, there's a lot of peppermint, not enough churro to go with it. Taste-wise, I wasn't a big fan. I'm gonna give it a six. Um, texture, I have sensitive teeth, so I don't like the little crunchy bits. Um, so I'm gonna give that a seven. And then uh, appearance, it started off really cute. And then it got really messy. And then it got really messy. So I'm gonna give that a seven as well. Our first item here at the Lamplight Lounge, we have the Holiday Cocktail. It very much looks like a white Russian. Um, but this is rum chata, frangelico, peppermint schnapps, and half and half, so probably not really gonna like it since it's mostly milk. But we'll see. Michael likes eggnog, maybe he'll like it. I was just expecting it to taste like milk, if I'm being honest. Um, it definitely has a creamy taste, but the rum chata comes through strong, especially because there's the additional like cinnamon on top. It's pretty good. I'm not. I think I might drink it actually. Let's see. It's not very peppermint heavy, which is probably why I like it. So I'm gonna give it an eight on taste. Uh, texture. It's a drink. It doesn't have anything grainy in it like our lovely cold brews from the pumpkin video. So it's good on texture, it's gonna get a nine, and then appearance, I'll also give it a nine. It was a really cute looking cocktail. I was so excited to drink it. Let's see what you think, B. Already, I feel so fancy. It does look classy. Which is the total opposite from his non-alcoholic goofball island. Don't knock it till you try it. I haven't even tried it though, so I don't know. This is actually really good. It's very light, very fluffy in a weird way. Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it like, in terms of cocktails, it's like an eight. It's really good. Um, appearance, I'm gonna 
give it, I'm gonna give it a 10 because they give you like a freaking cinnamon stick and everything. Come on. But I really like that it's like creamy and fluffy and it's light. Um, so texture, I'm also gonna give that a nine too. It's a very good cocktail. Come on. So they're hot cocoa dusted donuts. They toasted marshmallow cream and peppermint chocolate dipping sauce. So it says peppermint donuts, but I guess that doesn't really count as a peppermint donut in my Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it like a five. Uh, but texture, we know the donuts are great. Uh, so that's gonna get an eight for me. And parents, I'm gonna give it a nine. Because I love looking at this. And I think that's part of the reason we're so disappointed is because it looks so good. And then it tasted so not good. That's fine. We're definitely disappointed by this, but it's okay. Because we have something better. If you haven't had the lobster nachos at the Lamplight Lounge, the best thing on the menu, definitely try it. Well, this is a fun and festive looking treat. For the folks at home, here we have our peppermint bark bread pudding from Pacific Wharf Cafe. This is the full size portion. They do have a sip and savor um, ticket available for it. So I don't know if that one's smaller or not. It is gonna be Bread pudding with white chocolate, chocolate chips, and peppermint with whipped cream and creme anglaise. Oh, it's warm. It's so many things I hate about food in one. It does have some redeeming things. It has a nice sweetness to it, but I really hate how mushy it is. Uh, taste is getting a four. The texture is also not appealing in any way to me. It is all mush. So, also a four. But it's really pretty! So, I'll give that an eight. It's, uh, it is a little bit soggy in the middle, but it's kind of what you're going for. Uh, Taste-wise, I'm gonna give it like a seven. It tastes really good. Um, texture, it's a little soggy, so I'll give that also a seven, but like, in terms of bread pudding, it's pretty much what you're getting for it. Um, and, then, and then appearance, it's so cute. I'm gonna give that one a nine. Look at all this decorative, this looks like it came straight from the North Pole. I mean, she does not. I hate mint ice cream, you know it. I knew I wasn't gonna like it. Yep. It's better than the other bad things that I tried though, so it's gonna get a five on flavor. Texture, it's got good texture. I love that we finally have some sprinkles up at the Cozy Cone. Getting a, a point for that. Uh, texture's gonna get a, an eight. No, a nine, I'm gonna give it a nine. And then appearance, we're gonna give it a 10. It's a little Christmas tree. So cute. Well, it was. It was a Christmas tree until I ate the top off. Uh, it's not as good as the ice cream we had last time. Uh, that one was fantastic. This one, still really good. 
flavor-wise, I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, appearance, it gets it gets a nine. It's so cute, uh, but it is quick to melt, and it's cold today, so this is bad. And texture, it gets a ten because it's soft serve with sprinkles. You don't go wrong with that. Hell yeah. ice cream not as enjoyable as the soft serve that we just had so taste wise I'm gonna give it a nine um, wow because it tastes delicious and it looks great so appearance it gets a ten I'm sorry what there's a little candy cane on top there's a candy cane on top what and then uh, texture is fantastic I'm gonna give that a nine as well don't look too happy about it I'm skeptical. Okay, I got a little of the peppermint, a little bit of the chocolate, and I'm even going. Okay. Full shebang. Everything in one. It is much better with the chocolate. Yeah, I mean, I still hate the toothpaste aspect. I like the chocolate part, though. I'm gonna give it a six. Taste-wise, it's better than a lot of the other things we've tried today, but... Just, I really don't like the, the, the mint ice cream. It's, it's so toothpastey to me. The chocolate saves it. Um, texture, it's fun. It's creamy. I like the shell. It's got a good consistency. I'll give it, I'll give it an eight on texture. And then appearance, I'll give it a nine. It's really cute. Maybe I'll give it a 10 for appearance. Because it, you know what, it does look better than some of the, like a lot of the other things. And I feel like I scored appearance very high today. So we'll give it a 10 on appearance. I'll be nice. We are here to finish up the last leg of our ranking every peppermint flavored item in Disney for, cat for winter 2022. Um, we had to come back because there were some breakfast items that we didn't know were only breakfast items until recently. And our first stop is Jolly Holiday Bakery where we're getting the Santa Macron and the peppermint Cookie, peppermint cookie donut. That's what it is. Okay, so first off, we have our peppermint cookie donut, specialty donut with peppermint icing, crushed peppermint, chocolate cream filled cookies, and whipped topping. They made a little marshmallow for the top of the hat. So cute. It's so cute looking. A 10 on appearance. Off the bat. <laughs> Does it not get a 10 on appearance? No, also, Mickey shaped things get bonus points. Duh. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to de ear him. Okay, rip his ears out. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I destroyed the whole thing! Okay, let's spread this around so it's not just a giant lump of frosting. Spread it around town. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a bite of the cookie. I don't know, a bite of the donut and then a bite of the cookie, right? Okay. I don't know. Which one's your shot? Which one's your chasing? Oh, yeah, she did a good job. Okay. Cheers, Carissa. I'm laughing because I like this one the best only because I don't know if there's not enough peppermint in the icing. If it's just the peppermint on top of the icing that makes it peppermint icing, or if there's just so much frosting on top of that that you don't taste any peppermint. It just kind of tastes like a vanilla donut with Oreos. So now this begs the question when I rate it on taste, am I going in with the idea that it is how much it tastes like peppermint? Or how good it is. How good it is. How good it is? Eight. Now what's Nine. the peppermint? Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Now how Nine. is it on the peppermint? Peppermint, two. <laughs> Got it, okay. <laughs> um, texture, the donut part is really, really fluffy and nice, like super nice. The only part I don't like is the crunchy candy canes on it. It's like a weird, it's a weird crunch every now and then with the little candy cane pieces. It's not, it's not super off-putting. It's not like a lot, like grainy or anything, but not my favorite. Um, so texture, I'll give it six or seven. Six or seven. Seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. So everything else was really good. The frosting had a good consistency. The donuts great. So I'm gonna give it a seven on texture. And then appearance, I'm still giving it a ten on appearance. It's really freaking cute. All right, peppermint donut time. This definitely looks like vanilla. 
it just looks like snow. Okay. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> That's why I like it. See a lot of gears turning. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I don't know if they're combusting or not. <laughs> Are you trying to find the peppermint? <laughs> uh-huh. This is really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it on the taste of it. Just as is. Um, Taste-wise, it's gonna get me. Uh, appearance, 10. Duh, Mickey ears, hello. Uh, and then texture, there's a lot of frosting. Underneath that frosting is a really good freaking donut. So I'm gonna give it an eight as well. Our other item is the Santa hat macron. Which different, is so cute. Different from a macaroon, which is like a, a lumpy coconut mound, but still very good. Um, so our Santa hat macron, almond macron shells with white peppermint cream filling and rich chocolate granache. Should I just like break it with my hand? Yeah. Bite it like a sandwich? Yeah. It's really cute. It does get points for being cute. And also these are really, really hard to make. So I'm impressed. Okay, a little cross section. We have the chocolate going around the cream fill, the the peppermint filling. It's very York peppermint patty adjacent. I don't hate it. Honestly, it's not as like abrasive and strong as a lot of the other peppermint items we've been tasting. This is really good. I like this one. I'm very impressed with this one. Taste. I'm gonna give it an eight. I like this. Texture. It's. It's got a good texture, and the chocolate's a little harder. It's not as soft as the cream on the inside, and I kind of like the juxtaposition of the two. I'm also gonna give it, actually, I kind of like the sprinkles on it. I'm gonna give it a nine on texture, and I'm gonna give it a nine on appearance. It is very cute. There's also sprinkles on the little top. I didn't, I didn't notice that before. I really liked it. I thought it was great. We'll take it over here. I think you're gonna like this. One, you already like peppermint things, and two, this was really good. Did you just destroy the cookie already? Mm. It is very good. I was not expecting to like it, so. The cookie tastes great. I really like the cookie. I really like the filling. And I really like the fact that someone is backing up safely. Taste wise, I'm gonna give this one an 8. Appearance, I'm gonna give it a 10 because it looks fantastic. And texture, I'm gonna give it a nine. It's really nice. I love everything balances really, really well. So I love it. We're almost there. We have reached the final leg of our race. We are at the peppermint cream cheese pretzel from the refreshment corner on Main Street. And then that will be every peppermint flavored item at Disney and California Adventure for winter 2022. This pretzel is a cream cheese pretzel topped with white chocolate and crushed candy canes. I also see regular chocolate. It doesn't say that in the in the thing, but uh, uh, if I had to guess, there's uh, there's regular no, it's, chocolate. No, it's with white and chocolate. So there's white and then chocolate. <laughs> it's either gonna be really good or really bad, and it is very d dense. It is a dense pretzel. I'll be honest, this just makes me want a real pretzel. Like a regular old pretzel. Same. Just want to let you know, I touched the peppermint. It's not bad. I would never order it there, but like, it's not bad. I'm gonna give it a seven on taste. <clears throat> Texture is a very dense pretzel. Like maybe too doughy. I'm also gonna give it a seven. It's an appearance. Seven. It's not hideous, but there's nothing super special about it. So sevens across the board. I'm just gonna go with the simple piece that was already at the ready. So I see confusion. So I like the cream cheese inside. I like the cream cheese and pretzel combo. Great. Love it. Chocolate on top makes it a little too sweet. The peppermint definitely makes it too sweet. Yeah, not not my favorite, but like it seems like it'd be addicting, so I'd eat more of it. Taste, I'm gonna go with a seven as well. Texture, I did enjoy the texture. I'm gonna give that an eight. And appearance, I'll give that a seven. And with that, we made it through every peppermint flavored item being offered at Disneyland and California Adventure for winter 2022. And this is where they ranked after scoring each on a scale of one to 10 across three key factors. Now, 
Just like our ranking every pumpkin flavored item video, which is still sort of relevant by the way, as I've seen some pumpkin items still floating around the parks, so you should check that out if you haven't already. We feel it's best to reconsider our ranking with rested taste buds, so we're going to take a few minutes to reevaluate our rankings, shuffle some things around, and then officially close our ranks on every peppermint flavored item being offered at Disney and California Adventure for winter 2022. So the way that I've laid it out, just so you know, this is our lowest item, and then it goes across, and then back up top, and across again, and across. So this is the best, and that is the worst. And this is the worst. Perfect. So the candy cane churro, we ranked it on how much it tasted like peppermint instead of how good it was. Oh, and I but we feel didn't like do it that should, for other items. Yeah, no, we didn't do how much it tastes like peppermint. Like the candy cane churro, we loved. So both of them ended up being the same, but I feel like both of them should be a little higher. Okay, well, I definitely think it was better than this marshmallow thing, that's for certain. It was okay, the marshmallow thing. And I hate the ice creams. So I don't know how the ice creams are higher than most of these items, if I'm being honest. It's probably his score that just like, yeah, no, it's it definitely up. my score. But I feel like that's justified because I don't like mint ice cream. It's some really bad person to ask. You like the peppermint churro better than the pretzel? I don't remember Honestly, really liking yeah. the pretzel. I remember the pretzel. eating the pretzel and being like, well, why isn't it just a regular <laughs> pretzel? Yeah, the only thing I liked was that it was stuffed with cream cheese, but then it got way too sweet with all the other stuff on it. Okay, so definitely switching these at least. Um, and I think I'm... You like it more than the peppermint I I liked it, funnel cake? I think I liked it more than the funnel cake, which I know is going to be blasphemous for a lot of people. But I was really not down with the texture of that funnel cake. It awesome. had a lot on it, and, and not in a good way, in my opinion. I feel like this guy was just kind of boring. Like, the peppermint churro and the funnel cake didn't really, like, wow me the way that I wanted it to. Neither did these freaking donuts from the, the Lamplight Lounge. That was such a disappointment, in my opinion. It's weird that they were called peppermint donuts, but then they were just hot cocoa dusted donuts Bam. with like a peppermint chocolate dip. Um, honestly, I feel like this is just, this is just ranked separate. This yeah. is like clearly the best peppermint flavored item you're going to get at Disney any season that you could possibly get it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's just a given. And there you have it. Our ranking for every peppermint flavored item being offered at Disney and California Adventure for winter 2022. Honestly, nothing compares to the exclusive handful of candy canes offered around this time. They're truly a class of their own. But considering my own minor disdain for artificially pepperminted flavored things, I was pleasantly surprised at how many of these items I really enjoyed. Yeah, uh, this this one was a lot different than the pumpkin video because I didn't want anything pumpkin by the end of it. And sure, we spaced this out over what ended up being three days, so it wasn't as much. But if we did all of this stuff in a day, I still think I would enjoy the taste of peppermint. Which goes to say a lot. I don't know that I would. Yeah, she's not a fan of peppermint. We know that. We know that for next year but we'll still probably do it again because Disney will have more things. I will say, not doing it all in one day uh, left, it, left it a toss up for me. I felt like some days I was really nice to the items and some days I was like really mean. <laughs> These items are still being offered at the parks through to January 8th, so if you're interested in any of them, you still have time. If you liked this video and want to see more pretty nerdy content, be sure to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell to turn on notifications. We hope everybody has a happy and safe holiday with loved ones. And as always, part of the journey is the end, but we'll be back next week for another pretty nerdy adventure. No, really, we promise.